Welcome everybody. My name is Chad and this is Infinity Flies. Today you're going to be tying up a stonefly nymph in a, kind of a golden brown, dirty blonde color. Uh, really trying to match what I'm seeing in the river. Uh, so it's a good idea for you to get out there and flip some rocks, check out some bugs, and see the kind of color ranges that you might find. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Let's tie this fly up. Uh, so for the hook, we're running a size 12 Mustad streamer hook. And a 5.30 second gold bead head. So first off, we're going to tie on some horns up front. I'm using 6 uh uni thread and camel. I'm going to start right at the eye. Couple wraps back. Come forward. I'm using rusty brown goose biots for the horns and tails. So for the horns, I take it individually and I'm going to tie it on the side. Maybe a little bit up on top, but for the most part, it's on the side. And tie the other one on the opposite side. So just try to match your length. You have to just kind of do give it a nice little loose wrap, and then you can manipulate it from there and then really bite down come back and trim and I'm going to finish or a half hitch or I'm going to put some UV resin on that too I'm going to slide that bead in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, 10 thou lead free wire. Just in the body section right here. It's about 10, 10 or 11 wraps. Push that up. And I'm going to end right about there. Push that off and just flatten that. Flatten that out a little bit if you can. I'm going to tie in right behind the lead. Trim your tag. And we're going to come up and just a nice gentle wrap over the lead. And then I'm going to bite down on the way back. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to take my thread to about the barb. I definitely don't want to go uh, past the bend of the hook here because then the tails are just going to want to lay kind of on a downward angle. And I want them to keep the same plane as the horns. Right about there. I'm going to grab two more biots. I'm going to tie them in single as well. You can try to tie them in at the same time. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, but I find it's a little easier to just kind of get the look that you want if you time in individually. Um, so that, fe that 
feather I got splayed so that the cup, there's a cupping in, in these biots. So I got that one cupped that way, and then I'm going to tie the other one on upside down. Just like that. Takes a little bit to get a hang of how how they like to go on there, uh, but you can with practice it, it will get a lot easier. So I'm going to wrap those biots up to the lead uh, just to kind of help keep the profile nice and even. That was probably <clears throat> excuse me. That was probably one of the bigger things that really helped me uh, improve the look of my flies was at the beginning like I would just hack it off kind of like right there uh, and then you you know you're dealing with bulges and all this stuff you just try to keep your materials if you have to tie them in all the way up uh, always you should always obviously leave yourself some room to finish the fly but yeah it'll just help keep the body more streamlined and uniform so I'm going to tie in some uh, black wire, some small black wire for uh, ribbing. And I like to kink that. This kind of helps tie it in, and I'm tying it in on the side, and I'm keeping it on the side as I go down. I'm going to stop just before I t where I tie in, uh, where I finished off the, on the on the tails. And then you can just take that and you can just spin it and it will come off. Save your, save your scissors. So for the dubbing, I'm using a mixture of antique gold and chocolate brown. The, those are both from Hairline. So I just give it just a just enough brown to kind of make it look like a dirty, kind of dirty stained blonde. Um, So I'm going to take a little bit of that dubbing and spin it on the thread. I want a nice thin, thin coating over your thread. You try not to have it all like bulged up. You'll just get a more nice tight uniform body. I'm going to work my way up. A little bit more. I'll come forward with my wire. Try to aim for at least three or four. Three or four wraps. Because the stonefly has a pretty segmented body. Trap that wire. And then uh, I usually, because I'm wrapping opposite, I'm wrapping the wire opposite as to what I'm wrapping the thread. Uh, so it kind of gets tricky to tie off because you're, it just doesn't like to bite, so uh, I usually try to try to capture it, and then I work my way back with the wire along the body, and then I can just again just take that, spin it, and it'll pop right off. I'm gonna add a little bit more dubbing here to make. Uh, a little bit of a post for the first wing case. I 
try not to cover that last rib, but um, that's why I say I like to have at least three or four. Because if I have that fourth one and then I cover it, I'm not super super upset about it. Let's see a little touch more. There we go. So for the wing case, I'm using a 4,000 nymph skin. Comes in these sheets, and I just cut, cut whatever I want out of it. So for the stoneflies, what I cut out is kind of like a little, little chevron. So two little cuts to make that V and then I notch out uh, so that it gets skinnier. So like that's where I'm going to tie in, keeps down on the bulk and it'll sit on the, on the nymph a lot, a lot nicer. So I'm going to take that and tie it in right at that bulge and right on the tab so you can see that wing kind of kicks up okay, and this is where I'm going to tie in our first well actually sorry I'm gonna yeah I'm tying in the legs um, but I'm tying in one bigger piece and that's gonna act as both legs uh, you can just tie them in individually uh, but I find I just it's a little bit easier to do it this way in my opinion so I'm going to take this first leg and put it on make sure you put it on right right at the wing case right where you finished off and give it a good bite and it'll kick out for you And then I'm going to trim this, trim it longer uh, than what you got sticking out back there. And then the other side. I'm going to really bite. Move around a little bit if you need to reposition them. So now I'm going to pull on both of these rubber legs across the bead. Try to keep them that. And I'm just going to make some gentle wraps up. Sorry, not so far. You don't want to end right at the bead head there. It's about the width, the width of the rubber leg, you're going to stop. Right there. Come back. Uh, now we're going to add in some more of that dubbing. You can certainly just spin your dubbing on. Um, but I prefer to split my thread into kind of a mini W loop and I'm going to insert some dubbing into that. Just close it up and give her a spin. Come around here. I'm going to grab my little wire brush. It's going to kind of tease some of this stuff. Get out any like the big loose chunks if you have to. 
Now I'm going to add in my second second wing case. I'll come back just a little bit though first. Right there. Ah, I found it. No. <laughs> so I got my second in case here. You can also, I think you can buy something like this that's like pre pre cut. Yeah, so I got that up on top there. I'm gonna bite down. Just try to keep those legs forward. Bite down pretty good. And then we're gonna add a little bit more. Dubbing for a collar to finish the fly off. Just going to spin this on there. Going to come behind the rubber legs first. And then only a couple wraps up front. If you put a lot of wraps up front, then your, your rubber leg is going to start to kind of do this. And I really want my leg to be kind of pointed forward. And back there, some nice tight wraps up in front. And then finish off with a whip finish. Trim your thread, then you can go in and uh, trim your legs to kind of whatever whatever length you're feeling. If you know if you want your legs to be that long, then then give her by all means. Uh, I like to kind of keep my legs like come back halfway into the tail, halfway in the tails there, and then uh, I just kind of push these back. And wherever it lines up with the tail, oops, sorry, wherever it lines up with with that, I trim it to that. Right about in there. Like I said, it's whatever visually you like. Because I'm sure the fish are gonna not gonna really care. We come in with the Wire brush, kind of tease some of that stuff out. <laughs> and there you are. So there you have it guys, a nice tasty little fly, the stonefly nymph to add to your arsenal. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you watched the whole video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, you can also check me out on my Instagram. Uh, that's Infinity Flies. I've got quite a bit more content up there. Uh, I will leave a material list in the comments below. And I really hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Give her a like. Cheers. Until next time.